Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Uh, let us see the subject uh, principles of uh, drug discovery, uh, M Farm Pharmacology, second semester. Uh, today we are going to see about uh, target identification. So actually, it is the first step in drug discovery. Target identification starts with the isolating the function of a possible therapeutic target. It may be gene or nucleic acid or protein, and its role in the disease. Identification of the target is followed by characterization of the molecular mechanisms addressed by the target. Ideal target should be feasible. It should meet the clinical and commercial requirements for a druggable compound development. The techniques used for target identification may be based on principles of molecular biology, biochemistry, genetics, biophysics or other disciplines. The approaches for target identification are data mining using bioinformatics identifying selecting and uh, prioritizing the potential uh, disease targets choosing the biochemical pathways it may be enzymes or receptors the genetic association uh, identification of a genetic polymorphism and its connection with the disease the expression profiles the changes in mrna and protein levels could be uh, a tool uh, to identify the targets Pathway and phenotypic analysis, in vitro cell based mechanistic studies may be useful in identification of targets. Functional screening, knockdown or knockout transgenic animals can be used for identification of targets. Let us see the physiology based approach for target identification. The drug, when it is given to an animal or organ system, it may have a physiological effect. It is a disease centric approach in which the multiple targets are involved on the basis of physiological parameters in vivo screening is done by using drugs SIRNA or antisense oligonucleotides. This approach lacks the exploration of a mechanism of action of drugs. The next approach is target centric approach. Uh, the drug uh, may target the genes or the genetic pathways. It, with this, uh, the molecular mechanism or the genetic aspect of the drugs could be uh, understood. It starts with the identification of genes and their protein products, which may be associated with the disease phenotype. The gene, when inhibited or activated, allows recognition of a disease associated with it and provides the opportunity for therapeutic intervention. The advantages of this approach are availability of high validity disease models and transgenic animals for identification of targets. Next is uh, the let us see the drug target families. Actually, the target families of uh, drugs include ion channels, kinases, nuclear hormone receptors, G protein coupled receptors, membrane receptors, phosphatases, proteases, adipocytes, and numerous. A good quality target is the one which is properly modulated and improves the clinical outcome in humans. Most target classes are amenable to low molecular weight compounds. Approximately 60% of the molecular marketed drugs are enzyme inhibitors, 30% are G protein coupled receptor targeting drugs, 7% targets ion channels, and roughly 4% targets nuclear receptors. There is an approach called a structure based target identification. Structural biology has entered into the domain of drug discovery three decades ago. The 3D structure of proteins, for example, enzymes, globin, polypeptide hormones, had been deposited, which can be utilized for drug discovery. Several drugs have been originated from structure based approaches, example, ACE inhibitors, captopril, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, dorsolamide. PCR ABL kinase inhibitors, imatinib, HIV protease inhibitors, lopinavir, neuraminidase inhibitors, oseltamivir, etc. The target identification can be uh, done through cell based genetics also. So, one is expression profiling, uh, the high, it uses high throughput technology, it identifies the disease targeting genes, it understands the differential expression, homology modeling, and pros post translational modification of proteins are taken into consideration but the target prediction with this method is poor the next is biochemical and cell based biology it's a low throughput technology 
it uh, identifies the genes related to the biochemical pathways it uses biochemical assays cell assays protein purification and gene cloning here the target prediction is high then genetics it's also a low throughput technology it identifies the disease related to genes it uh, perturbs the gene function in whole organisms cell based genetics and mapping of uh, diseased genes are considered here also the target prediction is high genetics based uh, target identification so here uh, uh, there is uh, the target is identified through genetics it has three approaches one is a positional cloning approach candidate gene approach and target class gene approach so the structure of proteins are deposited as targets and let us see some of the sites where the protein targets are deposited so one is protein data bank uh, you can see around uh, 2 lakh uh, structures are deposited and here uh, the every month uh, different different uh, molecules molecules of the month are also submitted you can get the 3d structure of uh, these proteins you can download it and you can use this target uh, to design the drugs or uh, to uh, to analyze the binding efficacy of small molecules another site uh, where the proteins are deposited is uh, uniprot here uh, the it is a knowledge database of uh, proteins it is very similar to uh, the protein data bank but there it is advanced uh, it contains the proteomes of uh, different species uh, protein clusters are uh, represented in this and a sequence uh, could be archived in the uniprot the homology modeling suppose uh, you don't have uh, you do have a structure of a protein you you just have a sequence you can search the proteins and build the model using itaser it is a protein structure and functional predictor so it is uh, from the Zing, zhang lab uh, from uh, university of michigan the next is uh, Kyoto Encyclopedia of uh, Genes and Genomes for Target Identification. So here uh, it is a database resource for molecular level information, especially large scale uh, molecular data sets generated by genome sequencing and high throughput experimental technologies. The next is uh, Human uh, Metabolome uh, Database for Target Identification. Different metabolites and the metabolic pathways are submitted in this uh, site so it uh, appears like this the human metabolome database it's a freely available electronic uh, database uh, containing detailed information about uh, small mo molecule metabolites found in the human body it is intended uh, to be used for applications in uh, metabolomics clinical chemistry and biomarker discovery so it is a very short video of uh, the target identification. I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Um, kindly go through all the series uh, to cover the entire subject. Thank you.